Hey boys and girls, I'm the reading teacher. It's almost Thanksgiving. And for me, that means a lot of great traditions. We eat together as an extended family. We go for a walk after dinner and we always have the same menu. Turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, lots of veggies, and of course, apple pie. I have a book to share with you today that talks about how some fictional characters like to celebrate their Thanksgiving. The Moose family, to be exact. We're gonna find out what they really want for their Thanksgiving dinner. It's called A Turkey for Thanksgiving. It's written by Eve Bunting and illustrated by Diane DeGroat. Here we go, A Turkey for Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving morning. Mr. Moose helped Mrs. Moose set the Thanksgiving table. Sheep will sit here. He likes a chair that's straight up and down, Mr. Moose said. Rabbit here, porcupine here, Mr. and Mrs. Goat here. He smiled at his wife. Isn't it nice to have friends to share Thanksgiving? How many of you spend Thanksgiving with friends or family? Mrs. Moose set two paper pilgrims, one at each end of the table. She placed the paper turkey with its great fan of a tail between the candles and stood back. They look good, my dear, Mr. Moose said. Mrs. Moose sighed. Oh, yes, but I wish we had a real turkey. Everyone always has a turkey for Thanksgiving. Everyone but us. Mr. Moose nuzzled Mrs. Moose's head. Well, that won't do. I will go this minute and find you a turkey for Thanksgiving. Mr. Moose put on his cap and went out. Mist wandered through the bare trees. The cold made his nose water. Rabbit poked his head from his rabbit hole. Mr. Moose, is it dinner time? Not quite yet. Mrs. Moose wants a turkey. I'm off to find one. Rabbit joined him in three quick hops. I'll come too. Moose's warm breath hung white in front of him. Snow crunched under his hooves and made little holes that Rabbit jumped over. I see the goats, Rabbit said. Mr. Goat raised his head and spat out the tin can he was chewing. Is it dinner time? He called. Not till I find a turkey, Mr. Moose said. We saw one down by the river, Mrs. Goat told him. And Mr. Goat added, a fat one. Ooh. So where do you think they're off to next? Are they gonna follow the clues and go down by the river? Let's see. The goats leaped down from their perch. We'll show you. Sheep was farther up the hillside, looking round as a fur ball in his winter coat. Is it dinner time? He bellowed. First, I have to find a turkey, Mr. Moose bellowed back. There's a turkey nest on the riverbank. Sheep called, wait for me. The earth smelled of ice and moss as they crunched along. Above them, a crow hung, black as a puff of wood smoke. Porcupine was hiding in the underbrush. It's you, he said, and put his quills down. We're off to go get a turkey for Mrs. Moose. Mr. Moose explained. Do you want to come? I'm slow, Porcupine said. Pick me up on your way back. Who'd want to pick you up? Sheep asked and laughed his bleat of a laugh. I'll wait, Porcupine told Mr. Moose. <laughs> did, they, did he really mean pick me up like pick me up or just as you're walking by, I'll go with you? They saw a turkey's nest right away and Turkey himself peering over the top of it. Turkey, turkey, Mr. Moose called in his sweetest voice. Why do you think Mr. Moose is calling Turkey in his sweetest voice? What do you think? Ah, Turkey blundered from his nest and ran. Mr. Moose lumbered after him. Turkey, don't run. We just want you for Thanksgiving dinner. Turkey ran faster. 
Do not disturb. Come back after Thanksgiving. No turkeys here. Mr. Moose saw the red and blue sheen of Turkey's neck. Turkey's tail brushed crumbs of snow behind him as he tried to fly. Too fat, Mr. Goat said. Turkey's legs bent in the middle as he fell. Mr. Moose put a booted hoof on his head and smiled his great toothy smile. I hope you don't have other plans for Thanksgiving, Turkey. Oh no, they caught him. They're gonna have him for Thanksgiving dinner. He held Turkey up. My wife won't mind that you're too fat, he said. Let's go, it's getting close to dinner time. They marched Turkey in front. I'm sorry about this, for I can see you don't want to come, Mr. Moose said, but I must insist. A promise is a promise. All the other animals seem happy about this, but Turkey, not so much. There was a wreath of dried fruit on the moose's door. Inside, the house was filled with Thanksgiving smells. Mr. Moose hid Turkey behind him. Look who I brought, Mrs. Moose, he said. Sheep, the goats, rabbit, and porcupine, and ta-da! He pushed Turkey around in front of him for you, a turkey for Thanksgiving. What would you tell Turkey right now? Would you say, run, get out of here, hurry up and escape? Or are you predicting that maybe Turkey's not in any danger? Let's see. Mrs. Moose clapped her hooves. I'm so happy to have you, Turkey. Thank you, Mr. Moose. Now everything's perfect. Shall we sit? Sheep asked, heading for the straight up and down chair. Let's, Mrs. Moose pointed. Rabbit here, porcupine here, Mr. and Mrs. Goat here, and look, I brought a chair in from the other room in hopes of a turkey. A, a, a chair? Turkey stammered. Right next to me, Mrs. Moose said. Light the candles, Mr. Moose. So the whole time, Mrs. Moose wanted Turkey to join them for Thanksgiving dinner, to sit at their table and be a part of the dinner, not to eat him. Boy, that was sure good news for Turkey. There were bowls of acorns and alfalfa sprouts dried since summer. There was willow bark and cured grasses and wild parsley. There were pressed leaves, thin and pale as new ice on a pond. I hope you find something here to your liking, Mr. Turkey, Mrs. Moose said. I wasn't sure of your taste. You are so kind to worry about my taste, Turkey said. I thought you'd be worrying about how I'd taste. Heavens no! Mr. Moose smiled his big tooth smile and filled everyone's cup with cold spring water. It's so nice to have friends around the table at Thanksgiving. Turkey's waddles wobbled. It's even nicer to be at your table and not on it, he said. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving, Turkey. <laughs> This is probably the happiest turkey on Thanksgiving. And I like this story so much because it's a surprise ending and I love being surprised. I love thinking all the way through the story, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen? And when a story surprises me like that at the end, it's so much fun. I hope you enjoyed a turkey for Thanksgiving and I hope you and your family have a wonderful Thanksgiving. <laughs>